Johnny K, and this is part six, the big block Chevy back from the machine shop. I'm going to talk to you about what I had done at the machine shop and the cost. Then I'm going to talk to you about how to properly clean your motor before you start assembling it. That's very important. And then the third thing is just how to install freeze plugs. That's it. Thanks for watching. When I got this motor back from the machine shop, it cost me $400. They honed it out, removed the old cam bearings, installed new cam bearings, and decked it. So 400 bucks, and they washed it out. So I'm good to go. This crank is double keyed. So you have your timing gear key, the harmonic balancer key. And on the back side, 180 degrees out, they milled another key in there. I had them put a new keyway in my hub and they marked new on it. This one's a fluid dampener. I've used this for uh, 20 years, never a problem. When you get your engine back from the machine shop, even though they wash it out and they boil it out, it's still a good practice to take out garden hose, fill it full of water. It gets, make sure every loose particle is out of there. So with all the oil galley plugs out, all the freeze plugs are out, wash it. Take a garden hose with a spray nozzle, spray it all down, put the garden hose through the where the freeze plugs are, get the water in the water jackets, stick the holes in here and here and here. These are all through holes for the head that go into the water jacket. And then you're going to get some cleaning brushes like these. And those cleaning brushes, you'll stick them down through the hole here back and forth, clean out all the oil galley holes. You'll stick your brush in this way. This won't be in there, you'll stick your brush through there and clean out all the holes. Stick your brush down here, clean that out. There's usually crap that comes out of there. Take your air holes, blow everything out. And then when you think you're done, do it all again. Clean all the holes, do it about four times. That's the most important step to your motor. Any little metal shavings or debris is in the oil gallery that'll go directly on to your bearings and you'll chew, chew up your bearings. Take a flashlight. You can see how it shines down through that hole. Just a quick way to check. Just to make sure each one's got some light down there. So, Now that you clean the block about five times using the wire brushers, using your air holes, blowing everything out, making sure there's no particles in there, double checking just to make sure that there's no epoxy that ran into your lifter bore area. That everything's spotless, that it's clean. Take some WD-40 and spray in the cylinders, spray all over where the bare metal's at. Because as soon as you hit it with water, it's going to start rusting pretty quick. Spray all this, spray it down with WD-40 and you'll be fine. Get your engine bag and put the bag over it when you're not working on it.
All right, let's talk about freeze plugs. How to install freeze plugs. All right, you're going to need it. You can get a little extension on it. That way you got something to hang on to so you don't smash your fingers. And you're going to need some Permatex form a gasket sealant number one. All that you do with the freeze plug out, you put the sealant around the edge of it, set the freeze plug in place, take your socket on there, and you beat the freeze plug in. It'll be about 30 seconds below the surface. We'll call that good. And when your motor is sitting on just the four-legged engine stand, you can get in there to put the cam plug in. Same way, just on the, on the cam plug, they'll smear a little on the edge and you're good. That's how you install freeze plugs. Now for what it's worth, you can buy a freeze plug kit. I bought the Milden. Comes with the brass freeze plugs, the cam plug. It comes with the bigger oil galley plugs, but it does not come with these smaller eighth inch oil galley plugs. So these you can get from your a local engine builder will have these for you. But just remember, you're gonna have to get those.